You can afford a $900 per month mortgage payment. You found a 30-year loan at 6.9% interest. Question A, how big of a loan can you afford? Question B, how much total money will you pay the loan company? And question C, how much of that money is interest? So where do we begin? The first step is recognizing that we have a loan formula going on here. We're looking for a 30-year loan. And what is that formula that deals with loans? Well, we have from our formula sheet, P sub zero equals D times the quantity one minus quantity closed, one plus R over K raised to the minus NK, all divided by R over K. This is our loan formula, or also known as the payout annuity formula. So how do we put this formula into our problem? Well, let's see. We're first looking in question A about how big of a loan can we afford? That is, we are searching for the amount P sub zero in this formula. That's what we don't know. We do know what D is, so let's go ahead and let's say P sub zero equals, and what is D? D is $900, because D represents our monthly payments, times the quantity one minus, and now what is our R? R is 0 0.069, and what is our K? K is the number of times we compound per year, and so K is 12 because we are making monthly payments. That's raised to the minus NK. What is N? N is our number of years, or 30, and K again is 12, so our exponent's gonna be negative 30 times 12, or negative 360, and that's all divided by our interest rate, which is 0 0.069, divided by K again, 12. This expression here will help us to evaluate P sub zero, and so I'm gonna go to a scientific calculator Specifically, I like to go to the one that's free online, so I'm gonna go to my friend Desmos, and I'm going to evaluate this on Desmos. I'll put my scratch work, pay, pa, excuse me, I'll put my scratch work down here on the bottom, and let's add in that formula. Calculating it on Desmos, I have 900, times the quantity one minus one plus 0 0.069 over 12, raised to the negative 360, all divided by 0 0.069 over 12. The answer I get then for P sub zero is $136,653.48. So that's my answer to question A. $136,653.48. Question B. How much total money will you pay the loan company? All right. So this amount in part A is the amount of our loan. But you know money isn't free, so if we're going to get a loan from a company, they're going to charge us interest. So how much actually are we going to pay the company in total? We're going to have to pay our loan amount plus our interest. And how do we calculate that? Well, it's actually quite simple. We start with how much we pay them per month. That's $900 per month. Now, there are 12 months in a year. So if we take 900 times 12, that tells us how much we're paying them per year. And since we're paying this for 30 years, this total, 900 times 12 times 30, gives us the total amount of money that we're going to be paying our loan company. Pull out a scientific calculator or use Desmos and calculate this out. You should get $324,000.
That's what goes in the box for Part B, $324,000. And that brings us to Part C. Part C says, how much of that money is interest? Well, we pay $324,000, but our initial loan was only $136,653.48. That means the remaining part has to be the amount that we paid in interest. In other words, if we take the amount we've paid in total, which is $324,000, and we subtract from it the amount of the initial loan, $136,653.48, that gives us the amount of interest that we've paid to the loan company. Again, pulling out a scientific calculator or using Desmos, you should get that the difference between those two numbers is 187346 and 52 cents. And that's the amount that goes in box C. Oops, don't need to put that there. I've already got my dollar sign. So we're just going to type in 187,346 and 52 cents. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.